In the post-Usain Bolt world, Saturday's 100 metres final was always going to carry added significance. Everyone eager to see who could take Bolt's mantle and be the sport's new superstar. Well, whether Christian Coleman is that man remains to be seen. Off the track, the American has missed three drugs tests in 12 months. However, on it, Coleman is a class apart. And he showed why as he won gold in 9.76 seconds, coming in ahead of defending champion Justin Gatlin. Uh, I won't say I'm the new Usain Bolt. I'm just the new, you know, Christian Coleman. You know, this is just, um, I don't know, it's an incredible feeling to come out here and to add my name to a list of guys, you know, legendary guys who are, you know, world champions. And now I can say that I'm a world champion. Elsewhere on the track, history was made in the women's 10,000 metres final. Sifan Hassan becoming the first Dutch runner to win the world title. Long jump legend Mike Powell was in the crowd to see Tajay Gale take gold in his old event. The Jamaican's leap of 8.69 metres, still well short of Powell's world record of 8.95 metres, set way back in 1991. Well, day two ended like day one on Doha's waterfront with the mixed 50-kilometre race walk. And once again, the humid conditions made it tough for the competitors. China's Liang Rui winning the women's race. Whilst Japan's Yuzuki Suzuki took men's gold just ahead of 43-year-old Zhao Vieira. The Portuguese veteran defying the difficult conditions to become the oldest man to win a medal in any event. Mahal Pathak, Al Jazeera.